Shall we begin? Hey there, boys and girls. Bob Kearns, the unsung photographer. Welcome back. This should be an interesting little video. We got a little business to take care of first. And then we're going to talk about uh, the value of workshops and learning lighting and, and what flexibility it gives you and stuff like that. Um, we'll talk a little bit about technique uh, and I will show you some video from a workshop we just had a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Wow, it's almost a month ago now. It was like October 21st, I think. So uh, that's a little bit old news, but it should be entertaining. I think you'll like that. Uh, wow. Uh, thank you so much for uh, all the new subscriptions, and welcome to all the new subscribers from all over the universe. Uh, and thank you to the new subscribers who are women. I think it's fabulous to see uh, female photographers for years and years, they were very rare creatures. I mean, there have always been women who, uh, and some very famous ones, but they were always a, a very much a uh, minority. And I like the idea that there's going to be more balance and that we have the uh, uh, female creatives entering the industry. That's a really good thing. And that are interested in it as, as a hobby, even. Uh, so fabulous. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to all the people that just stop by occasionally. I, I think that's great, too. It, it, this stuff is all pretty amazing. Now, this still says Nikon. But when we did the workshop, one of the uh, participants, um, a very charming gentleman, was kind enough to bring me Mr. George Brenner, by the way. And we will discard this lovely hat. It's still a good hat. Still has my Allen's button on it. Allen's. Allen's camera and video. Look them up on the web. They do ship. He brought this. And I thought this was so considerate. And so very kind. And I was so very happy to receive this. It was a very nice gift. It's an Olympus hat. And uh, I don't know where he got it. or, well, uh, But... Uh, I'm trying to see if the hat's straight. That's kind of dumb. <clears throat> but uh, it was very nice and very kind. And, and the irony there is like two weeks later after the workshop, I guess uh, something happened in the wind because I got this FedEx box from Jennifer Colucci. Nice Italian name from 3500 Corporate Parkway, Center Valley, PA. Uh, and inside that box was this. It's an OMD hat. And inside the box was also this. An Olympus t-shirt. And it's even got the name on the on the sleeve here, which I think is a little extra classy you know, on most T-shirts. Very nice. And also attached to the T-shirt was this note that said, "We greatly appreciate your support." So this is from Olympus. I, I have to assume uh, out of the blue they actually sent me a hat and a T-shirt. I didn't ask for the T-shirt. I did ask for that. <coughs> And I want to say thank you, uh, Ms. Carlucci, and whoever the marketing person is, or whoever saw the video and decided it was worth their time to uh, throw me a hat and a shirt. And I want to thank you very, very much. That was very nice. That's very classy of Olympus. Nikon never sent me squat, and I talked about them for years. So, uh, there's a company that cares about, about you. That's very, very nice. Oh, let's talk, a, let's talk a little bit about the workshop we had that I mentioned. Uh, we had a fabulous workshop, and it involved lighting in the style of George Harrell. Uh, it was called Hollywood Lights, because George Harrell is a very famous Hollywood photographer and basically established uh, the Hollywood style. And I'll show you some, some samples and maybe a little video from the workshop. You get an idea of what was going on there. 
We had uh, several uh, very enthusiastic and interested participants who all came away with some really nice work. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you today of what's the value of doing these kind of things. If you go uh, to somebody in, in a lighting workshop with someone um, local to you, you get up and actually go out and shoot and see what the lights do, uh, pay attention, ask the proper questions. Uh, how much do you really get out of it? And I think they're very important. Uh, why study lighting from a guy that started in the 1930s? Well, he worked all the way up until the 1990s. Actually, I think 1993, I want to say. <clears throat> and he did fabulous work, and I'll show you some of that uh, in a minute. He just did wonderful stuff. And he became an icon. But you have to understand when you're searching for your own style, it pays to understand how other famous photographers or uh, photographers you admire uh, achieve the look that they have. How did they get there? I have, um, there are a couple of guys I, I follow around um, that I don't necessarily agree with 100%, but uh, uh, they can be very helpful. There's another Olympus guy out of Allentown. Uh, that I've mentioned before, and he's a good teacher, and he has a good attitude, and his you know his basic formula is you really need to get your get off your ass, quit watching YouTube videos, and go shoot. Well, yeah, uh, but YouTube has its value in that you can get information number one for free. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything really, um, or if you do decide to contribute or do something, it you know it's not a fortune. It's a, pennies compared to what you used to have to do, which was either go to a school or uh, manage to get a job as an assistant in a photography studio or buy these tomes, these big books that were uh, very difficult to get through, uh, especially if you didn't have the specific kind of equipment that was featured in the book. So it made things very difficult. Nowadays, there's, there's a plethora of avenues for uh, information to be had, and that's all great and good. However, uh, it is still 100% true uh, that you really need to get off your duff and get out and do the work. You have to practice. You have to experiment. You have to uh, do the lighting. You have to see how it works. And the idea of being able to go for a day with somebody who knows what they're doing and go and glean that and ask the questions that pop up. Well, when I do this, this is what's happening to me. What am I doing wrong? Or, you know, or you listen to what they tell you for the day. And if you're following those instructions, you'll get, get some of the gist. And it's all very helpful. Plus, you get to see what it's like working with other professionals, how a collaboration works, uh, what other people bring to the table when you uh, have them join you in a collaborative uh, effort. Uh, this is all so very important. So why do you do these things? Why a guy from 30 years ago? For number one, he was iconic. What that man did uh, had an immense value because it established an entire genre all by himself. And how did he manage to do that? Simply by going in and doing his work the way he wanted to, but he produced he, the, he would bring a young starlet in, and he would produce work that made that young woman look beautiful and stunning and desirable to see in a film. That was his job. And he did all the big names, too. And it was just, uh, uh, he did men as well. He had Humphrey Bogart and uh, Clark Gable and all those guys. Uh, he, he was just absolutely fabulous. So understanding how he did things, and there was a guy that was a rule breaker. Uh, and we can talk about that when we, we go and we look at some of the pictures. I'll, I'll talk about that but for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's cut into that video. And this is Hollywood Lights Workshop.
and welcome back from that, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, Bob Kearns, the unsung photographer. I want to thank you for stopping by. It was great to have you come in and uh, listen for a bit. And uh, we'll be back again in uh, hopefully uh, not as long a period of time, in a couple of weeks, hopefully. And uh, show you some work from the, uh, the new lens. Talk about depth of field some more. All right. Even if you're on the right path, you'll get run over if you just sit there. See you next time. Shall we begin?